tariffs are here, stock is low, and prices are high. And I have a burnt motor. Let's talk about it. So when it comes to arming in tall grass and using turtle mode, I am a complete maniac and I need to chill. Because if I don't, I'm going to end up with motors that look like this, which can cause more issues I don't feel like dealing with, like mid-flight failures, a blown ESC, and other performance issues. But much like everything else in the FPV hobby or even just RC in general, it can be fixed. So after spending three to four days on the world's largest search engine, I narrowed it down to the most important things that I needed in order to get this done. I needed the copper wire size, the amount of turns around each stator tooth, and I needed to know my winding pattern. The not so simplified, more in detailed list of things that I needed to get was a little bit long, not really kinda, you'll see. So. Not only did I need copper wire, but it had to be the same exact size as the copper wire I removed from the motor. And it had to be enameled. And because it's enameled, it has to be stripped. And in order to strip it, I needed to get a wire stripper, which is where the DFA comes into play.